Oh, you right. go small town. Hell, you go down the freeway, you make the highways, man, you see them. You can get on their website and look them up. Yeah. They're everywhere, man. And these people are part of them. And plus the Greek fraternities, too. That's a, that's the same thing as the Freemas, uh, Freemasonry. Same shit. It's, it's all linked in together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Same shit. Because that, that, that goes all back to worshiping the devil. Because all those Greek gods that they praise in those fraternities, Zeus, Aphrodite, you know, Hermes. Hermes. Yeah. And they broadcast them all the time. They do. Yeah. That's why they call Greek fraternities. Because yeah. they worship those devils. You know what I'm saying? Because Zeus is the devil. Hermes is the devil. All right? Uh, and Zeus is Lord of the Flies. That's the same thing as Baal. That's just the Greek form of Baal. Oh, go ahead. His eyes are privately set against the poor. Oh, hold on, my fault. That's why when I just said that those uh, judges in the courtrooms are high priest of Baal, or high priest of Zeus, or Jupiter, whatever you want to call it, right? Because uh, a lot of those judges come straight out of those fraternities. That's a fact. Oh, go ahead. This is my girl again. Super brothers in it. That's what they call them fraternity, the big brothers, big yep. sisters. Yep. They're fraternity brothers. Yeah, because fr fr freighter means brother. Go ahead. Psalm 10 and 9. He lies and wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lies and wait to catch the poor and does catch the poor. Right, when you go to the court courtroom, ain't nothing but poor people up in there. You go up into the courtroom, it's filled a thousands of people all in there on some bullshit ass charges. It's all just to take your money, man. That's all it's for. Uh, go ahead, read that again, my fault. Psalms 10 and 9. He lieth and wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth and wait to catch the poor. He doth catch the poor when he draws him into his net. Is his net. That, that, that net, that, that system. He crouches and humbleth himself that the poor may fall by his strong ones. <laughs> That's what you see. Isn't that not what you see? All these people, they're going to jail. They're getting locked up on some bullshit. Cops will pull you over, beat the shit out of you. Take everything in your car. Yeah, take your car apart. They won't find a goddamn thing. <laughs> he has sin in his heart. God has forgotten. He hid at his face. He will never see it. That's what they think. So they ain't got any judges there. They ain't no judges there. Well, another thing, too, is like the judges, they, they gonna think, because the judge, they the ones running shit in the courtroom in the, in the, in the uh, what do you want to call it, in the law enforcement realm. So they the, they the high priest of Baal. The judicial system. The judicial system, there you go. I forgot what it was called. Yeah, because there ain't no justice up in there. You can't call it the judicial system. Ain't no justice up in the courtroom. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, a scale. And yeah, they got the nerve to make her blindfolded. <laughs> to say that she, she ain't judging by appearance, no. That's all a lie, man. That's a facade. This whole system is designed to keep you down. To keep you on your fucking knees. This whole system is designed to keep you poor, to keep you broke, and to keep you fucked up. That's it. Oppression. It's a, that's what you call oppression. That's the word of the day, oppression. Well, America was founded on slavery. So, I mean, it, it, there's nothing new. It's been here from the beginning. It started as a slave plantation. It's going to end as one. Until those missiles hit. That's why, that's, that's why I can't take these Patriots motherfucking serious, man. Woo! You people don't make no goddamn sense, man. That, that whole American dream, that patriotic spirit, that's all an illusion, man. That's all, uh, you know what I'm saying? That's just an illusion. That, oh, that's, here we go. That's, that's, a that's a myth. That's a myth. That's a myth. That's fantasy. What's the spirit? I mean, it sounds about? good. You know, you see the, see the flag flying with the eagle, Star Spangled Banner playing. You know what I'm saying? They get that. That's just a. That's no different than a fantasy movie. That's propaganda. That's some bullshit. This shit ain't real. Go ahead. Um, 
like it's a tennis at a Baruch. So uh, three and eight. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers right. which departed from the Lord our power. Yeah, because really, we paying, really, we paying for the sins of our fathers, really. That's why we are here teaching. To tell these fools to repent. To stop being a goddamn adulterer. You know what I mean? Stop following after the ways of the heathen. Stop being a part of the world. Stop, stop loving the devil. You know what I'm saying? You got something you want to bring out? Yeah, I got some. Hold on. I'm looking for something real quick. I got some swords. Some swords. I just see these holes everywhere. Short, short and sweet. <laughs> Oh, these scriptures Luke, are sweet. This is uh, Luke 6 and 24. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your constellation. Right. Because you got a lot of people, they, well, they, like, they, like, they like being part of this world because they make money off of it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they don't care. They'll turn a blind eye to this crooked system. They'll turn a blind eye to all this wicked shit going on. Just Because all they care about is getting paid and living comfortable. That shit ain't gonna last, man. Cause you, you gonna die. And you ain't taking those riches with you either. Someone else is just gonna come through and steal them. The White Castle is straight down that way. You said White Castle? It was Harold from Harold and Kumar. Uh, he looked like Harold from Kumar. James Batman 3. Your gold and silver is cankered and the rest of them should hey, be start, a Hey, start up at the top. Five or one. Yeah. James 5 and oh, 1 shit. Go to now ye rich men weep And howl yeah. for your miseries Yeah so all these rich men All these devils is running shit They gonna weep and they gonna howl All these uh, the so called Jews These motherfucking Edomites That control the banks yeah, They control the government They control Hollywood mm. They control the music industry They control the news They print the fucking money Hey they gonna weep They gonna howl uh, Keep going for your miseries that shall come upon you. It is fucking fact. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Who's your fake? riches fucking are fact, corrupted, man. and your garments are moth eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rest of them shall be a witness against you. Right, it's going to be a witness against your ass, what I got to speak, I got on hold of Yeah, because, yeah, you got to... That's a nice scripture. And that gold and riches can't save you, man. When the, the wrath of the Most High come upon you. Ooh, and it's coming, too. And it shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Right, it's going to eat your flesh. All those sins is going to eat your flesh as fire. <laughs> you have heaped treasures together for the last days. Yeah, they heap. Yeah, they heap. They, they, they heaping. They, they, heap they, they heaping treasures together for the last days. What kind of sense does that you make? You have heaped treasures together for the last days. <laughs> so that, that's all in vain. They leave it for us. Right. That's right. That's right. Either that or for the fire. Because so Matt Damon. It's both. It, it, it both. They gonna get <laughs> your gold to get melted and robbed. And, you know what I'm saying? Both. Because oh, when that day comes, man, it, like the scripture, the blood's gonna run red with. Ooh. The streets are gonna run red with blood, bro. Ain't gonna be nowhere to hide. Nowhere to what's that? Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Yeah. Motherfucker. Look at their spirits, man. Y'all got foul spirit. <laughs> Bitches. No escape. Yeah, that's a good one, man. Go ahead, bring it out. Psalms 92 and 7. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish. Oh, hold on, that's the wicked out here, they grow like grass. You know, like, there's as many wicked, evil pieces of shits out here as there are blades of grass. That's, that's, that's how, that's how, uh, that's how numerous the wicked are. Is as numerous as the blades of grass. That's what you see. Look around. Yeah, because you got to put in account that two thirds of Israel is some goddamn dumb. And that's a lot of motherfuckers. That's a lot. That's the main ones I'll be talking about. Right, right. Is Israel. That's some shit. The devil's supposed to be the devil. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, supposed to be. You're right. I read that again. 
Psalms 92 and 7. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. They're going to be destroyed forever. <laughs> there will be none remaining. Well, well, we go to the house of Esau, there will be none remaining. Oh my God. But two thirds of Israel going to be destroyed. Now you can put that on Esau. Yeah, because there's going to be none remaining of Esau. When you're talking about the actual children of Satan themselves, the Edomites, they're going to be totally destroyed. Like that Obadiah. I'll go, just bring 18 out. You finished with that though? Okay. Um, this is uh, Obadiah 18. In the house of Jacob, you know what? Yeah. In the house of Jacob shall be a fire. In the house of Joseph, a flame. In the house of Esau, for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. Yeah, that's going back to why we was talking about the oppressor. The Esau is the oppressor. Esau is the one who controls the damn government, prints the money. You know what I'm saying? He's the one that uh, he's the one that created that police force. That's Esau's creation. Well, I was going to Isaiah 14, that classic in 14. Uh, who in their fucking right mind will create, will, will create something called the police department? Who the fuck created that shit? Only the devil would, would, would create something like that. They come up with their own bullshit, but we, when, we went, when we had problems in the day, back in the day, we went to um, yeah, judges. the Levites. Oh, yeah, the Levites. We went to the Levites. Yeah, judges also. Yeah, because yeah, you ain't... If they blood, if everybody has followed the commandments of the Lord, you don't need no sheriffs, no cops. You know what I'm saying? Each person would be a, a judge. If you, if you caught somebody doing some wicked shit, he mm. bring everybody out and stone his ass. You know, give him a trial, hit the scriptures like he, uh, he was fucking a horse. Give him 150 years. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him 150 years. Oh, this motherfucker was a pedophile. They got in America there. Uh, you get caught. They got pedophiles raping children. They get locked up for what ten years and they let them out. They get out two, two, like right? Yeah, months. yeah, less than that. Yeah. They supposed to get straight put to death. Yeah. Catholic priests don't even get locked up. Oh, right. All. right. Right. All you, all you got to do, is you bring them out. You got the witnesses. You get your witnesses. Like we, have, we know this shit happened. Like okay, then the, all the children of Israel pick up stones and they stone his ass. And that's all there is to it. Well, let the father just track that nigga to pieces. Right. And you got anybody out here blaspheming the Lord? They supposed, you know what I'm saying? Back in the old days, you get stoned to death. But like, you got you got forgiveness of sins now. You you supposed to repent. So go ahead. This is uh, Psalms 36 and one. The transgression of the wicked said within my heart that there is no fear of God before his eyes. Yeah, these fools ain't got no fear of the Lord in their eyes. For he flattereth himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. Right, these fools think they something special. They like, you know, they think they the, the, uh, the hottest things is uh, sliced bread, as they say. The words of his mouth are the words of his mouth are inequity and deceit. Oh, especially Jake too. You know, Jake especially think he's hot shit on a silver platter. You know what I mean? Right. All these motherfuckers think they the greatest rapper in the world. You know what I'm saying? They they so fly and shit. Man, you ain't shit, man. You gonna get squashed like a goddamn uh, cockroach. Don't forget he's even rapping, but he's the fastest rapper. Yeah, he's the worst rapper you had ever heard. They just so proud. Everybody got their garbage mixtapes and shit. Can't say one wrong. You gonna you gonna get put down, man. <laughs> Most high gonna put you down. He gonna put you down like a like a rabid dog. You know what I mean? Put you down like Jezebel. Yeah, put you down like Je oh yeah. These hoes too. These hoes always talking about they got that wet wet. Ugh. They got you know what I'm saying? They didn't say that wet wet was pus. <laughs> Yeast infection. Yeast infection. Right, right. What you think of a bitch back in the old days during the time of Moses? When one of the children of Israel said, I got that wet wet. Oh, that bitch, her head. She got put to death. I read that again. That's a bad scripture. <laughs> Psalms 36 and 1. The transgression of the wicked says within my heart that there is no fear of God before his eyes. For he flattereth himself in his own eyes. Until his iniquity be found to be hateful, 
the words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. He has left off to be wise and to do good. He devises, he devises mischief upon his bed. That's real. Hey, you gonna talk to Esau too. That's all Esau does. Uh, he, you know, even thinking about the Most High. He, he just plotting and scheming on how to kill you fools, man. Yeah, uh, that's why you got all this uh, genetically modified food. They poison you with the food. They still got fluoride in the water. Here it is, Harvard University came out with a study that said fluoride causes brain damage. That was five goddamn years ago. It's still in the water. <laughs> it's still in the water. It's still in the toothpaste. It causes brain damage. You, you look at the sky, you can't see it now. They spraying chemtrails every day. You fools don't even recognize it. I was in the toothpaste department, and there's like a hundred different types of toothpaste. Every last one of them has fluoride yeah, got in it. Fluoride in it. It's profitable. Yeah, these fools beg for fluoride. Oh, now, now these hoes, they, they won't even uh, give their children a uh, breast. They won't uh, breastfeed their children because they hoes and they want to keep their titties perky. <laughs> so, so they buy that Simlac, got all kind of poison in it. And then they buy, they that's buy. That's why the titties sagging and shit. Yeah. They ain't got no breast. Yep. That's why the pussy all loose. Their, their, their baby on that titty draws everything back up. Then you see they got baby water that they sell at the store. And, and it says on the label, with fluoride added. And they think that's like an extra bonus. <laughs> oh, I got to get that. Fluoride. Little twist and twist. And they giving their child, brain, they brain damaging their child with that fluoride. Y'all, y'all just some useless eaters, man. You know what I'm saying? Bunch of fucking dumbasses. Yeah, a bunch of heathens. So we surrounded by heathens. If you're not in the spirit of the Lord doing what we doing, we likened you unto a heathen. The Lord have likened you unto a heathen. You know what I'm saying? Right. Unless you repent. You know what I'm saying? We gonna call you a heathen until that day. Hey, looking at it. Oh. They called us heathens. <laughs> I'll go ahead and bring it up. Ezekiel 4, 13. The Lord said, Even thus, the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat the foul bread among the Gentiles where thou was driving them. Right, yeah, that's, that goes into the GMOs. Our bread is the Bread means food, all right? Because the, the word, uh, for food means bread also. Or for bread means food. You know, it's just like, I'm gonna break bread with my brother, you know what I mean? So all of our food out here is defiled. Even the milk that you drink got all kind of antibiotics in it, chemicals. Have you seen the way they treat the cows? Have you seen the way they raise the chickens in the, uh, the chicken, the chicken, what's that shit called? Coop. Chicken coops. They got genetically modified chickens with no feathers, chopping off their beaks. <laughs> I mean, they raising these animals in the, in the most horrible conditions you could ever imagine. You eating that shit, man. All, half the food that you buy got soy in it. So All soy is genetically modified, has high levels of estrogen in it. And if, if you eat a lot of soy, it, it makes you become feminine. It might, you might start growing titties. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, that's what it does to you. Estrogen makes you grow tits. <laughs> Literally. That's what it does. That's what it does. Uh, Psalms 5 and 4. For thou art not a God that has pleasure in wickedness. Right, the Lord, the Lord ain't got no pleasure in none of this shit out here. The Lord is angry at the wicked every day. Read that again. Psalms 5 and 4. For thou art not a God that has pleasure in wickedness. Neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all work, workers of iniquity. So the Lord hates, see, God don't hate nobody. The Lord hates all workers of iniquity. For you stupid ass people who don't know anything, iniquity means you evil people, people who do evil shit. <laughs> Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will abhor the bloody and deceitful man. Right, the bloody and deceitful, you're gonna get put to death. Sound like great America. There ain't nothing great about America. Bloody America. Great wickedness. Great America. Yeah, America is the country where they legalize uh, faggots getting married. Do you agree with homosexual marriage? Not particularly. Like, that's good, bro. 
I gotta check out what you guys are saying over here. We just keep reading the Bible. You believe in the Bible? I was in the Bible. I was like, oh, so do you yeah, believe I it? I see you guys got a few. Of course. We're prophets. You we're prophets. We're apostles. Nice. Oh, I saw. I didn't get it. Oh, you're good. Okay. No. Cool. All right. Where are you from? Keep it on. From Cleveland. I'm a student here. You're. Uh, I'm not, not, not from Mount Seer. Not from where? Mount Seer. I don't know. You know where Mount Seer is? Yes, sir. Seriously? Yeah. You ever seen the movie Indiana Jones and the uh, Lost Ark? Oh shit! Yes, I have. The not, Holy Grail was the in. Not the Lost Ark. It was the uh, Last Crusade. Okay. Okay. I think I know what you That's where about. Esau's peoples are from. You ever heard of Esau? I have heard. I don't know that much are you a Mormon? Not a Mormon. No. You kind of got the Mormon feel to you. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what <laughs> what, 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 what you guys off as a Mormon? I'm just messing <laughs> with the you, dress. <laughs> I'm just the messing with the you. white shirt. <laughs> the top? Yeah, I'm the top. I got you. I'm just trolling you, bro. I got you guys. Cool. Psalm, uh, Psalms 2 and 1. <laughs> All right. the heathen rage? Keep on, keep and on, the guys. people imagine the main thing. Yeah, so the heathen rage, these fools out here, everything they think about imagine is vain. They got a little party they're going to go to tonight. They just sure they're going to have a good time. Everything's going to go smooth. Until on the way home, they crash to a goddamn telephone pole. And everybody in that fucking car dies, bleeding. Bitch got glass in her fucking neck. You know what I'm saying? One bitch wrist has got sliced. Her boyfriend, he, he's, he's dead. Decapitated. Decapitated. Fuck, her eyes is hanging out and shit. 